All right, guys, I'm trying to drill some holes in some pots that I just bought at the Dollar Tree, but, you know, Jack is over here. So I had Chris set up this drill for me because... I gotta make the holes. I'm sure you can punch them out. But I have a habit of cracking them. So I'm going, I got all different pots to up pot. They didn't have much of a selection anymore because everybody's been buying them, but I did get a bunch. Got some little tiny ones. Got, they all have bottoms on them. I thought this was pretty cool. So... I'm gonna get to drilling. Oh, and I bought some marigolds because the ones I started all died. And then I got these. I seen these online, but they were so expensive. So I found these. These you put over them to keep them insulated, which I could have used last night because some of them died in the greenhouse. But I didn't, I didn't care because I have plenty of plants. But I'm going to put these out and they have a little hole. But, uh, Chris is gone today. He went to a motocross thing and he called me and he's having a great time. I'm not good with the drill. I told him I needed a smaller hole, but I guess I didn't. I needed a bigger hole. So... Oh, we'll see. I'm just doing what I... I don't really know what I'm doing. This one here. They have little... Um, I guess you stick these at the bottom. And it holds the water. Keeps them away. I don't know how it goes in. If it goes in upside down or this way. I think it goes in that way. Just bought a bunch. Oh, it looks like you poked the holes right here. Okay. This is usually Chris's forte, but as you can see, he's not here and every day he's at work, so it's always just me. I pretty much have to do this stuff on my own. Drilling the holes. I'm getting at one with the drill, people. I'm getting at one with the drill. Doing all right. Doing all right. Haven't drilled my hand yet. I went down and I got the kids some, it's Saturday, 22nd, I believe. Went down and got the kids some donuts at Dunkin' Donuts. This one don't even have the holes on the outer. Just broke it. Just broke it. Oh, wow. the drill. I don't trust myself with it. Alright, so those three are drilled in. Plastic everywhere. <sighs> Not my favorite thing to do, but I got to do it because I got to make sure the plants have water and that water can to go out.
Probably should have done this outside. But there you have it, guys. We using a drill. And I just got to clean all these pots off. Probably if I did it outside, they would have blown away. All right, I've got to get to getting the rest of these all done. little pots I should have had him give me the bigger drill bit, but I'm sure he put it away already. I suppose as long as there's holes in it, I'm all right. I'll get to drilling. All right, so I got all the buckets full of holes. Now I just got to figure out what I'm planting in them. These two are from last year, and they're all from the Dollar Tree. This one I have a crack in, but these are all from the Dollar Tree. I got, they didn't have much left for selection. So I just picked up what I could. They're all upside down, but yeah. Found these little domes. I seen these on Homestead Tessie. So these, you put them in to protect your plants. Cute little things. I looked on Amazon, they were so expensive, but I found these for $1.25 a piece. So I grabbed a bunch. Try them out. But yep, now I'm going to go figure out what I'm going to do now. It's 85 in here. It was 95, but I rolled up the sides of the greenhouse. And I'm coming in to check. I left all these out last night. They were a little droopy, but they seem to be perking back up now. I didn't I wanted to see if they would work and make it through the night. They look like they're doing okay. One didn't make it, so I took that out. But uh, these made it through the through the night. So, uh, and it was thirty-two last night, I think, because this little thermostat tells you the minimum and the max, and it's been thirty-two overnight and then 95 earlier but since I opened the windows and doors it's gone down to 84 I got this little I found that on the side of the road someone had it listed out there for free so I took it I might put a little plant on that but it is toasty in here oh my gosh so I'm gonna go outside and see what else I can get into all right, guys, this is the Thrive Life 
shrimp. Mm -mm -mm. Yum yum. They're yeah, baby shrimp. Mm. So flavorful. I love them. I can just sit here and snack and snack and snack. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, I took some of that, mixed it with some elbow macaroni, celery, onions, and some pieces of egg that Chris didn't eat from his work week. Look at there. Look at there. Look at that piece of shrimp. Look at that piece of shrimp. This stuff is so good. Mm -mm -mm. Look at those pieces of shrimp in there. Can you see the shrimp? Can you see the shrimp? Mm -mm -mm. Mm. So good. Mm. And I did not overdo it on the mayonnaise this time. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, guys, Thrive Life has shrimp, too. They're the baby pieces of shrimp, as you can see. But they are so full of flavor, and it takes literally seconds for it to thaw out to rehydrate when you put it in your water. I put it in cold water, and it was already rehydrated by the time I got the mayonnaise with the noodles and the celery and onions in together. Mmm. Gotta try it, guys. Thrive Life Shrimp. I don't have the can to show you because I threw, the, I threw it away. But here's the label. Let me see. That is the label. Mm -mm -mm. But I rinsed out my can and I'm going to use it for... I save, I save my number 10 cans and my pantry size cans. Not all of them, but I do save them. Oh my God, doesn't that look good? I do save them. Because you can plant in them. Mm. I'm just shoveling it in, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway... We'll get your Thrive Life shrimp. Mm. I can't stop. It's so good. Oh my God. I could eat this whole bowl. Mm. This whole bowl. All right, Todd just took the whole little bowl of shrimp and he's eating it. 